So Representative Michael Grimm from uh, New York, who is, if you're just talking about policy, is one of the few not completely insane Republicans. It's not like he breaks with the party all the time to stand for, for freedom and the common man, but he is, <laughs> he is capable of criticizing the far right of his party. Mm -hmm. Which is it, dangerous. Like we should recognize that that's hard to do as a Republican right now. It is. It turns out he's also he he, he looks like he might be a huge criminal. <laughs> um, so it's easier to do. He's turned himself in. He denies these charges, but he has been indicted. He surrendered to federal authorities in New York today to face criminal charges, and they're not insignificant charges related to his uh, restaurant, which is called Healthalicious. <laughs> I, I like it. I think that's a great name. You do think it's a great name? I'd eat there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, here's the indictment related to his work at Healthalicious. It was an apparent scheme to avoid tax payments, taking a story from uh, USA Today as our source. Really, I think it's an AP story. Um, so here are the allegations he faces. One, there's significant tax fraud allegations that he was trying to avoid paying taxes. The 20-count indictment includes charges for conspiracy, obstruction, mail fraud, perjury, and then significantly for a Republican, the unlawful employment of illegal immigrants. Between wow. 2007, it says here, and 2010, according to these court documents, Grimm intentionally, again according to the court documents, hired an undisclosed number of illegals and engaged in a pattern and practices of such hiring and continued employment. Here's another quote straight from the indictment. I think we have a graphic for this. In total, Representative Grimm concealed over $1 million in health delicious gross receipts alone, as well as hundreds of thousands of dollars of his employees' wages, fraudulently depriving the federal and New York state governments of sales, income, and payroll taxes. So basically, this guy, Jeez. like Clive and Bundy, if these allegations are true, uh, is just stealing from you and me. Well, we don't live in New York, so mm -hmm. stealing from, if we lived yeah, in New federal York. Federal taxes as well. Right, federal taxes, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's stealing from you and me. But he's a thief, he's not paying his fair share. Right. And as an elected official, it's particularly galling. It's, all, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick point about, you know, corporate tax loopholes. Now, in this case, I'm, it's a small business, not a corporation. But it's just interesting that there are so many deductions that businesses can take advantage of, and it's still not enough. There's yeah. still ways that people try to dodge their taxes. Just pay your fair share. Just yeah. do it. It's the I think it's the patriotic thing to do. I know it sucks how the government spends our money. I hate that it goes toward wars. I hate that it doesn't go toward education as much as it should. But at the same time, it's, yeah, it's the most unpatriotic thing you can yeah, do to together. not give back to the country that gave you these opportunities. It's your responsibility, yeah. and it's, yeah. uh, it's cowardly not to pay your yeah. taxes. Michael Grimm's a coward, and we know he's a coward uh, because of the video which made him famous, which we'll get to do momentarily. But before we get to the video, um, no. Instant decision, no, before we get to the video. <laughs> not quite instant. <laughs> um, that was television being made live. <laughs> um, so, so Grimm also has made news, it says here in the story, over his campaign contributions. He has acknowledged that he's received between $250,000 and $300,000 in campaign donations from followers of an Israeli rabbi who splits his time between Israel and New York named Yoshi Yahu Yosef Pinto. And I just thought Japanese that was, that was Jew, amusing. Right, because <laughs> what kind of a rabbi is named Yoshi Yahu? Uh, but it turns out this kind of rabbi is named Hey, that looks like a rabbi. Yeah, that's a rabbi. Yep, yeah. turns out, turns out that's a rabbi. Um, so uh, uh, he's also in trouble for that. But the indictment today was just related to health malicious uh, and the apparent significant tax fraud, uh, mail fraud, yeah. perjury, conspiracy, obstruction charges. Uh, why we know many people know Michael Grimm is that after the State of the Union in January, a New York One reporter—that's a cable station in New York—a New York One reporter approached. Uh, Representative Grimm and tried to ask him about the ongoing federal investigation that we would add three months later resulted in a giant indictment and him surrendering to authorities. Seems like a legitimate question for a guy to ask, but he only wanted to talk about the State of the Union and he responded by threatening the reporter, Michael Scott. We have you here. We haven't had a chance to kind of talk about some I'm of the. I'm not speaking about anything that's off topic. This is only about the president. Well, what about. Thank you. All right, so Congressman Michael Grimm does not want to talk about uh, some of the, the allegations uh, concerning his campaign finances. We wanted to get him on camera on that, but he, uh, as you saw, refused to talk about that. Back to you. Why? I'm, I'm be clear to you. You have to do that to me again. Wow. 
Wow. Threatened to throw him off the balcony, break him in half like a boy. That Does he break boys? I think that's a reference to the first episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> but let, let's be clear. So sometimes people get caught in gaffes like this um, with like a hot mic or something like that. Like they didn't realize their mic was still on. He pushed a guy out of a live shot on MSNBC to then say it to him. There's a good chance they're going to have a recording of it. Yeah, yeah. while he's mic'd. It's, that, that shows was a level of like reckless behavior that like, how do you get into Congress being that careless? Right, it wasn't MSNBC, but it was New York One, and MSNBC was just running it. That's where we got it from. But yeah, it's a crazy. A live shot in any event. No, yeah. a live shot back to his home state. I think I said Michael Scotto the second time. The reporter's name is Michael Scotto. And first throw, throw him off a... Uh, the balcony, yeah. then break him in half like a boy because he's not man enough. Like like the, this guy who didn't pay his taxes, Michael Grimm is so manly. So allegedly. manly. Doesn't want to answer any questions because he's a man. You said it. It's so yeah. unpatriotic. I think a man does his patriotic duty.